What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to round off what happened last time, um, we are continuing our push against the British. We took Falmouth, we took Boston in a lightning raid, the, the 13 colonists have pushed up an army, they pushed up an army to New, to New York, which we roundly defeated, they retreated northeast, and we are now going to use this force that secured Boston to destroy them. So let's attack. The Cherokee are pushing up to the south, which is of a mild concern because we cannot permit them to take Philadelphia. If they take Philadelphia, I will go to war to secure Philadelphia. So they must think twice. Let's take my... let's just make a battle line. My intention is to envelop their forces completely, so my cavalry are going to flank pretty aggressively with my general. The rest of these chaps with my skirmishers, there's not really a need to use skirmishers in this battle, we're moving up into close range. Yeah, exactly. Some men on this flank. Pretty much going to do something more like this. Both of these men attack the light cavalry. The rest of my men can push up as intended because the colonial cavalry will break and die. As will the general. As my artillery pounds in against their small formation, almost forcing a rout immediately. Yet they've lost 21 of their comrades. And they are falling thick and fast. Engaging his native auxiliary bowmen. Let's charge my cavalry in. It's about to be a hell of a big melee fight. He's doing a grand job. I've been very accurate this time. over here and there is a hidden unit somewhere because we've not had now oh, there it is turn off the artillery god whenever i see a notification of that part of me always wonders you know is it my general and i've just screwed it up has he walked into someone's musket fire bunch of line units that we can kill. It's 
let's mop up some of this unit. And there is still one guy over here. Let's cascade along. God, colonial line infantry has really made a uh, made up some ground. You take out this last guy, Mon General. Got him. Yeah. <laughs> so he was over here. His comrades were over here. That's a hell of a spread. But let's see how much damage that has done to our friends. 150 men remaining. Make ready. March. Uh, Julien Sayers. Finish them off. Reinforce. You men push down to the bridge. Path blocked. Yeah, that's been fixed. Good. Ooh, we can recruit ships here. I always forget that. I'm going to start to build up a, a, a little navy outside of our currently blockaded port. We could actually attack Mr. Lake because his navy is damaged. Callum Hardy. It's not Thomas Masterman Hardy. Okay, let's, grow, let's build an admiral. Remy Ajaru. Um, yeah, it makes me uncomfortable. And again, a couple of these ships are quite badly damaged. No, I think I'm going to continue prosecuting the campaign on the land before and capture uh, Philadelphia, because right now cash is still not really a concern. Dear Mr. Mirabeau is superior general because he's fought yes, sir. the length and breadth of this continent. He has fought all the way up the internal working areas. He secured the French. Now he's fighting the British. Hit in turn. Let's see where the British decide to attack. I mean, we definitely do need a good navy because look at the way the Brits are. Uh, the poor, the French are just dumping forces off the coast. But if I can take Philadelphia, I'll be willing to make peace with the thirteen colonies. The question is, will they allow it, and also will the British allow it? But then again, it doesn't really matter what the British think. Yeah, they're on strike, but now they're okay again. And they're going to be increasingly okay as they become Protestant. Yes. You men are still yes, finishing, as are you. Orders. March. Yes, my See, Lord. none of these armies are great at attacking, really. Well, you're not too bad. The trouble is, if I try and assault them, then this army comes in as reinforcements. <laughs> Okay, let's drop some cobbled roads off. Where else got new roads? Albany. And can I upgrade this iron workshop yet? Nope, sadly not. You need coke blast furnace. Okay. So you soon... Well, you will probably... When I draw forces in around Libya... Not Libya. <laughs> Libya. Philadelphia. The men in the fort will probably strike south to take Annapolis as a block against the Cherokee. Well, they may have to move now, especially as we're not at risk. So this garrison strikes south. Ooh. Don't march within range. March within, within striking distance. Upgrades here. Would be tempted to build walls around Boston. My eyes are yours. Let's just watch. Trouble is, if we siege it. Well, either way, if if we siege it and the Brits come after us, we'll fall back, and then that will draw their army away from Philadelphia, which is good. Oh, I should have. Wait a minute. That's completely not what I thought. 
would happen. And to be honest, we should have foreseen it. But it looks like it's going to be a pretty mighty battle. Um, fortunately, they've attacked the army that's got the most guns. So we're going to set up in a defensive position and hopefully not require the services of that second army. Although they may be needed to... Oh, I lost all the money from those fifth rates. Should have garrisoned the port. Um, but that second army might be needed to chase them down. Although one will probably chase down one army and the other will probably siege the city. Okay, men. Oh, look at this for a defensive position. Drop my guns. Despite the fact that our men are are under strength, it's a lot of firepower we can put out. And then let's drop let's drop extra guns, but leave them unlimbered because we may need to manoeuvre. Ooh, this is actually quite a neat little position here. So let's drop some. Grenadiers next to the guns. But then again, we don't get fire by rank behind the walls, so it's not great for these guys, but it's probably good for the Cure de Bois, because they'll get some increased cover. So that's one flanking division secured. Oh, flanking decision. Flank company. Oh yeah, I've completely misplaced that unit. In which case then. Back you come. Keep them unlimbered. In case I need to redeploy on the fly. Do you need to limber up and redeploy on the fly? see that, that I'm afraid. Cavalry deploy to hold them up. These artillery units fall back. Intercept their provincial cavalry quickly. This is going to be bloody. Unless we build up a suitable ring of steel around the hill. time. Grenadiers should even the odds somewhat. Skirmishers, skirmishers should provide some good defence. I do appreciate I'm very much leaving my
the objective of this army is to hold. Hold position. We have an opportunity here to do some really good work at trying to chew up the garrison. But we need to do work. Okay, let's get... Okay, let's fall these guns back here, because we may need to form a secondary defensive line. General killed. It was killed on the main field, okay. Another general's been killed, hopefully that's the captain of this formation up here. Some skirmishers are keeping up a constant withering fire. Try and protect their comrades. We're doing what we can to hold off, to hold off the, uh, to hold off the attack. I don't know why the sounds. Not, I don't have no idea why the sound is so. Intermittent. Come on, man. We can kill this tribal auxiliary. Oh make this unit route because they are not of use to me okay let's get these grenadiers to try and fight their way back towards Back towards my main line. These gunners just get out of here. You attempt to charge the militia to protect this line infantry unit. You men charge the buccaneers. You guys pivot to engage the marines. Loading and firing as fast as they can. Come on, men. Just do as much damage as you can. I suspect this army may end up being utterly destroyed. Obviously, Theodore's coming in at the complete opposite angle. This army is going to be destroyed because they're too far away to directly assist. Our main effort is to try and do as much damage as possible to the 13 colonies. Prior to forming a new defensive position on this ridgeline. Just 
It really, de it really decides when it does and doesn't want to work. God, look at that! It's like Bunker Hill or something. They just, they just swarmed at my position, but they're getting ready. Don't worry, man. There's a limit. Only so many of them can arise over the hill. So we need my artillery, my cavalry to snipe their artillery. That'd be good. God. Native orgs that are here come again. Poor souls. My general can't help me now. You guys just go. death. What can men do against such reckless hate? Let's get my general out of there. I'm thinking more in terms of what's the most amount of useful... What do I want on the field to help fight from the next flank? Right now... Engaging these marines at point blank range with a deadly accurate fire. Go on, grenadiers, in in invite them to fight at close range. As colonials fight side by side against their truly superior masters. No, General. Go. Get out of here. You've got so much to live for. Sorry, everyone. I clicked off my monitor. Phew, for a second I thought I killed it. Can you also fall back? These men are giving our lives, giving their lives for an idea. A simple idea, but an idea of a independent Louisiana. They do not sell their lives cheaply. They are making the enemy pay with every step. There is little that can be done. So they stand to their bayonets and engage the enemy on foot. As a new force rises, more powerful to the south, The British must turn to reorientate and attack this new force. However, the sacrifices of those brave men will have brought victory on this day. A victory not just for themselves, but for all time. Engage. has to get to work to help buy time. 
yay, I got some my 85 strong unit of line infantry is here. Cavalry, I'm having to force you to sell your lives in this way. fire onto them. The morale of the enemy forces is failing. Send my melee infantry forward to buy more time. To buy more time for us to build up our strength. Great battle line that the enemy shall not defeat. Serve your ammunition. Kill these British dogs. Fall back. This unit of buccaneers is dead. Shrine mode on this unit of buccaneers. These men take up this position. Of course, the Chinese are attacking a wall. There's so many units and all these red flags, but they all are all so very damaged. these French bodies. Hey! Set your line up to engage those musketeers. You've got a shot here, buddies. Regiment. Fire! They have caused us a bloody nose. I was going to say, why are they... 
normally they don't, they don't do that weird shuffling around unless they've got a uh, melee combat. So let's see what's happening over here. Because that unit's way routing over there. Let's bring this unit up. Smart decision is probably to make them route or to route them, but I don't want to do that. Come on, 10th Regiment. Destroy those men that slaughtered their comrades. After that first attack, the enemy does not have the strength to challenge us. Spread out our reserves. Well, I'll probably be tempted to drop. Ah, native irregular musketeers. Go get him, General. Or not, General. The General is here, watching, seeing the destruction of an entire army in the distance. Let's turn off fire at will. Let's attack the native and let's get my Let's fall back. any defences. They're fairly depleted. They're not that great in terms of stats. And these men are going to have a great time. Okay, first, mode on that unit of marines. surviving unit from that original force to march back towards us. Let's get our cavalry out of the way. And to be honest, let's send our cavalry now just to uh, kill men. Same with my general. They're not explicitly needed to win the battle. Their job is to make the British rue the day. They attempted such a manoeuvre. How long has this battle been? 20 minutes. off of this buccaneer unit. No, don't go back to them. Go take out a marine unit. The native warrior auxiliary are going to break.
Yes, definitely those marines. Can okay, you move up and go after that unit of marines? My generals have a great time attacking this unit of militia. some of these guys more to the rear. Some of my men have decided to revert. Let's push some men up to help protect the 13th. Unlucky for some. Just get the artillery to provide some fire support at range. down some other troops. Good. Um, it's only that marine unit left, actually, so... Found them with artillery. Bring you in to go attack the colonial. Actually, you go after this colonial line of foot. Let's notch the speed up a little bit. Oh, actually, there is. There's that hidden. Target the artillery. I know these men are tired, but they must do what they can to make these men pay for what they've done. Actually, come back here and go after the militia. Pretty sure that's... It's the rest of these men dealt with. You can... Stop firing at will. Well, there is there another... Hmm. Well... Somewhere there must be a hidden unit. Um, but right now it's... Unless I've already clicked continue. Hi. Could already oh could well have forgotten. Kill these swine. Pretty sure that's all of them. No one's being shot at from hidden units. It's just my cavalry in combat. So that's mighty strange. Oh God, there's a hidden unit somewhere. Now it's that weird, everyone trawl around and find where the hell's it gone. Or is it going to be like an artillery unit that's stuck? Or is it going to be someone like around these buildings?
just had a horse unit to run. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is cut the recording because either this is bugged, there's a hidden, there's probably a hidden unit somewhere that's creeping around, but I don't know where the hell it is. Um, or there's, well, I don't know, or there's lots of things. Or maybe there's a, a unit is dead, but they're not off of the map completely yet. I mean, it's a bit weird that like, nothing's shown up normally by now something's happened but thankfully they attacked me so i'm gonna cut the recording and end it there and wait to bring you guys back when the battle time has expired or i find them so see you in a second guys and we're back in the room just again just at the end of the battle and uh, yeah nothing's nothing happened no no units showed up no men got attacked so i just waited out the clock because i'd effectively won Heroic victory. Eh. I mean, it depends on what state the their armies are left in. <laughs> yeah. So they just well, they lost six and a half thousand men. We lost two thousand of our own. God, some of our men did really well. Some of our grenadiers just went down fighting. Obviously they've fallen back towards but we don't want them to be. Uh, that is par for the course. So the army, they got obliterated. They're going to fall back to Boston to await reinforcements. And then the other army is going to stay in situ and resupply where they are to not give up any control of the campaign map. They're going to hopefully uh, re reinforce fairly quickly they demand peace no not after that okay oh I don't uh, oh, yeah I'll fight that <laughs> um, because it's not it doesn't involve the garrison it's just the uh, the forces outside of the city so yeah I'll do that this is the the leftovers of the garrison that attempt that was part of that slaughter. Just deploys one massive line. Everyone run and be very tired. But They've got native bow units, so I don't want to forget that. God, look at the city up on the hill at the back. Yep, there's some of their native warrior auxiliary. Okay, so these men form the bulk of our main battle line. Everyone be involved in some massive flanking maneuver. Let's charge these men forward. Your routes. They've stuck around long enough. Even the bows are having a go. Let's pivot these men before they have a chance to fire.
captain died. Which is a shame, but it's just a captain. Which means the 19th is probably in for a rude awakening. Why are you routing? The morale decisions this game makes is rather funny at times. Right, you guys are coming back. Same with you. Let's engage these last warrior auxiliary. That's the musket we've managed to see off. But let's charge in and hit. It's a native warrior auxiliary. Blasted my blasted my infantry. Yeah. It wouldn't be as clean as of a win as I thought, but as I would have liked, but uh, to be honest I didn't expect much from this fight. Certainly it wouldn't hold a candle to the ones we just had. <laughs> Take it as a win and knock back their forces. God knows how this is 50 50. So I'm going to have to fight it. <laughs> you know, all of that versus a general and two units of militia. I don't know if that's just the graphic being weird or whether the game will legitimately roll it as a 50-50. I suspect it will roll it logically. But I don't really... There's no point risking it. Yeah, just deploy everyone behind barricades, except you of course, because I always forget someone. I mean, if you don't... Okay, if you're not coming for me, then uh, I'm going to force you to make a decision. Especially when I've got a swarm of infantry, loads of money, and I'm not so bothered about this front. Interesting little position, though. Oh, you can run up these. Well, some of them. Militia to run through. As my colonial militia took a volley at close range, they're probably going to route. If they do, that's okay. So determined to have blood. There you go, let's just speed up time. Because right now it's a fairly boring battle. Just units pounding the hell out of each other at close range.
general's going to suicide himself. Not suicide himself, just generally get a bit upset. What do you mean I can't sit my cavalryman in the middle of a giant circle of guys with guns who want to kill me? Pretty much everyone. Pretty much everyone says you can't do that. <laughs> I was wondering if that meant the territory would be ours. Oh, damn. Glorious victory. Do not support them. Good. Do not support them. Good god damn it. The Cherokee are driving hard. Your humble servant. Which means I think Ready and I gotta go for it. So you're gonna go here, and see if they intercept. Right. No, which is good. Okay, let's Turn the tax off for these guys. I need to march these guys up as reinforcements oh, rapidly. Nice. And again, that still doesn't really help. Got these grenadiers from Quebec, we can march up. Let's build some guns. Is that the last of our skirmishes? Yeah. Let's build a new drill school. Or drill schools across the land. New fur markets, new farms. We've got a new shipyard, but that's limited on usefulness for now. Um, I don't want to attack. Make ready. I don't want to attack. If I attack this, the Brits will Lord. attempt to get involved. I think. Unless, if I try... Damn. Okay, so we've got an interesting, interesting solution here that may present itself. So I don't want to attack... I don't want to attack... Philadelphia yet, because this army is damaged. Well, it's not super damaged. Yes. Ready well, no, it's not. No, it's not super bad. I could do this, and then let's go and try take the city without the need, without the need uh, to have. Actually, let's swap these guys around. Let's attack before the Cherokee have a chance to uh, ruin things for us. Let's do it. Because they've been knocked back twice. Um, because they're probably not at war with Britain, I guess. That's why they haven't got to worry about the Brits. But I do. And I can't wait. Because if they move up a big stack, they'll destroy all the buildings inside Philadelphia. Which will make it so much more expensive for me. <laughs> when I eventually recapture it. Um, I could let the Cherokee take it and then declare on them. Like if I were being, not sneaky, but just playing the game, that's what I would probably do. Okay, so, we're, okay, let's see if we can find out where the, where the reinforcements are coming in. I'm going to guess it might actually be this corner. Or around here anyway. I guess. But then again, sometimes the game's logical at where reinforcements are coming in, sometimes it isn't. Like, watch this. I'm positioning my dudes the way I would normally do an assault, right? Nothing super... super surprising there, right? But let's watch. The uh, let's watch the British reinforcement army come in from right behind me. Uh, completely wrong. So 
still. Let's make a hole. Let's speed up time. Fortunately, they are going to get a lot of reinforcements in. Prior to me making my breach. But it's not the end of the world, because what I'd like to do is once I make my attack, although I might actually push my press my assault, because they've all changed direction. time because right now we're just trading blows if we can get up there and take the walls that would be great but they are now pivoting to come and face my assault Which case it might be then smart. But well, I want my pikeman up. When I do have a breach, I want my pikeman in. Same with my native auxiliary. Then with these men, I need to swarm the walls as quickly as possible. So still speed up time. Because right now, nothing's really happening and my men can rout. There's nothing still stopping them from just getting obliterated before even getting up onto the walls to fight. Pretty heavy damage, to be fair. You've captured one building. I want my pikes in. That's exactly where I want them. Lots of cavalry. Cavalry. In fact, let's probably see if I can get these guys to uh, to not fight. But then again, they, oh no, they still probably need to fight. my pikes in there they'll have a great time with all that enemy cavalry let's bring my militia up to try and provide some decoys let's see if they can engage the reinforcing come on what are you guys doing back here doing Auxiliary, you guys open up, please. They got a volley in before they got into combat. So my native auxiliary to go hit their general. So I've captured this front gate, but there's no real impetus to use it yet. 
Charge my pikes in to go after the general. Good, because we are cutting through these guys quite nicely. Let's bring my cavalry around to Harry. Reinforcements. It looks like they're not falling for my trick. Let's engage them with my militia as far as practically, practically possible. Go get them, Pikes. Good, they're suffering on the walls. They killed their general, which is excellent. And I hope they continue with this trend of pushing their cavalry out because we'll be able to pick them off a bunch of melee troops have hit my line these guys are going to go down pretty quickly Get my pikes in to start slaughtering through the center. It looks like we might start suffering from some morale problems, <laughs> he says as his men start routing. But this is why we do have, we did bring in that reinforcing army. Actually, they came back. So these men, these garrison nine, are causing morale problems in both directions. Which is why I would like my pikemen to get in there and not form some stupid column. Like what they're doing. Like what the hell. Oh yeah, my assault force on the flank has broken, which is fair. Another section of the wall. How oh, am I pikemen losing slightly to mounted tribal auxiliary? So my assault has been roundly defeated. Which makes a lot of sense. Really it makes a lot of sense, really. I don't get why these guys aren't just charging in. They're just look at them. Okay, don't go after them, go after the... Just run in there. So my musket line with my militia over here is going to be very dodgy. <laughs> Understandable. We're just trying to do as much damage as we can while our pikes actually get involved. I mean, to be honest, this whole battle has just been a bit funky. But the sooner we can make these men sooner we can uh, make them route, the better. Who are you? Why are you native warrior? Native warriors, why aren't we getting any... Like, I'm not getting any sound effects at all. Yeah, 
says losing slightly, losing a... Okay, you guys. March back. I plan to hold up the enemy force. Has somewhat succeeded. And if this is there, what they've... What, if, if, if... God, I'm <laughs> starting like hell. If this is everything they've got, then they've actually got a reasonably good opportunity here. Do you find it mighty? Yeah, yeah, I was going to say. Why am I fighting and losing? They should be doing loads of damage to these men in the breach. Let's do some good damage outside. Outside the walls and try and slaughter a tune of militia. Understandable that a bunch of our troops are routing, mainly because everyone's dying. That'll do that. Okay, let's try to get these guys back up the walls. So we want our native orgs that are in the pipes back in the breach. Where they can do some good stuff. As the men route, they will be replaced with... from somewhere. No, I definitely... Oh, I absolutely swapped these armies so that this army wouldn't be coming in. I knew this guy's army is naked. Oh well, it's more troops. More troops to feed into the maelstrom. Actually, you guys get off the wall. He's a bit schizophrenic to do that, but I need to I want to get off the wall and then cover these guys the rear. Because they're about to get flanked. So this general is gonna not suicide. Okay, native auxiliary infantry. Native warrior auxiliary, you guys. Attack these men and hold them up and allow my pikemen to do as much damage as they can in the centre. Actually, are these guys... No, I was, about to, I was about to say, have these guys actually got better? No. Let's bring them up. Attack the combat with my artillery up here. Okay, some other guys are coming in now. Let's advance and see if we can push or tempt these guys to not going into the city to instead attack us. So our assault forces in the breach have been repelled. These guys, rather than climb down and run around, they decided to run up. <laughs> Which is rather special. Okay, because everyone's routing and just forming up, let's speed up time. Yeah, those grenadiers can go away. To be honest, so can you. 
you guys fall back. Okay, so everyone else is currently marching over in good order. So I have set these guys to retreat, which includes running away. general over here because it looks like handily a bunch of their garrison decided to set out and attack us our new artillery batteries are in position let's bring Theodore Theodore back same with you Theodore Theodore You guys run away. Pounding these guys with artillery. Looks like they're marching out, which is actually really useful. some more. Can you just leave? So let's push up. You guys fall back. You're about to get hit by Bowman in the flank. Letting the artillery do the work. So we are going to see this Hessian line off. Colonial line is off. different army. There's a goal for that force. So who are you? Garrison line, okay. Let's march you guys up. Looks like they are gonna catch my gut my guns, but that's not a massive problem. Line. No, don't shoot, don't shoot. So, native warrior uh, positioning isn't ideal. It's not the end of the world. What's more of a concern is. Oh no, session line might just kill a bunch of their own men, which would be useful for us. March up. Let's march up. Get both of them to hit this unit of Hessian line. Good, these men form up provide musket fire against the Hessian line. They're going to get pushed back because they're pretty weak and my men are pretty strong. I missed the Hessian line unit. Too bad they're going to pivot and about to go into line into combat with my men. Hopefully we can... Before too many of our own men die. Let's 
unfortunately I think we managed to uh, recover things before they got too bad. Okay, you guys all run up to here. I mean, okay, if you don't want to protect the breach. So to hit the Hessian line, not this particular unit. Just deploy a unit to fire into the breach. These men stay back. Push them back. So let's push them up here. To, I mean, honestly, no, you know what? Just don't interfere. Okay, let's do something like this. Line unit on the flank. Pivot. You guys engage. Session unit's bugged out. To be honest, I don't think the AI knows quite what it's doing. I mean, there's an argument to be said that it never knows what it's doing, but I'm not quite the pessimist. Well, when it comes to this game and AI logic, I am. When they take the city, these men are going to rush through the gates. Ah, oh, how cute! They form square in response to being shot at. Just let these men fire into the square. Go, fellas. Everyone fire as she bears. Good stuff. I don't even have to do fire wall turn. Okay, let's run someone in. Well, oh, really, you guys need to march up and claim the central position. God, this is going to be a really long episode. held for as long as you could but it wasn't enough As these men load and fire in their own time I think that's a wrap people men remaining three rangers yeah the bowmen are very upset I'm probably losing more colonial line to friendly fire from this unit than I am from actual combat but yeah 30 seconds to go Bravely held on, but not long enough. Destroyed. That was a bloody victory, that's what that was. 
Whew. Yeah, we lost three and a half thousand men, almost half our army, winning that battle. Your Majesty. So you need to replenish. Let's rebuild the city's defences. Let's probably march Sorry. you guys over here. Troops. You then can all get replenished. You know, Hartford, you can now start researching naval technologies, I think. So let's go for naval shore facilities right off the bat. Or oh, actually, maybe flintlock cannon. Minus 5% reduction to uh, reloading times. Oh, and Boston can also get new roads. Awesome. But, phew, that was a marathon episode. I think, after I do a bit of economy spending, I'm going to end the episode there. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the next episode of my Louisiana campaign. Cheers, everyone.